bath. What? Bath. Fuck Mary Kill, Mitch McConnell, Proteus the Sea God, and the Cloud Rhino from James and the Giant Peach. Sasha. No, I know. I want to fuck all of them too. No, no. I'm in the middle of my mandolin lesson. Relax. How was I supposed to know? My apologies, Anthony. Where were we? Did you see it? Neary! Beth got featured on the Hot Substitute Teachers of New England homepage. What? Wait, B, I'm confused. When did you become a Hot Substitute Teacher? I'm not, and I kept telling them that, but they wouldn't believe me. Oh, this is horrible. No, relax. This is a good thing. I'm just not the kind of person whose face should, like, be on things. It makes people think they're about to hear bad news or be forced on stage for audience participation. Sasha's the model. Wait, when did I become a model? You're not. Damn it. And Beth, the fact that you find Sasha attractive really makes me question your heterosexuality. Why? <laughs> There's a very thin line between Sasha and Tignataro, Alison Bechdel, Hannah Gatsby, Rachel Maddow, Ruby Rose. Pretty much Sasha is a gateway drug. Hey, B, your mother is FaceTime audio calling you. Oh no. She only audio calls me when she has to tell me something I don't want to hear. Oh, speaker phone it. Speaker phone it. Speaker phone it. Speaker phone it. Speaker phone. Fine. No, but you cannot make gross noises like last time. We will not. Hi, mommy. Sweetheart, my love of loves. How are you doing? I'm okay. How are you and mom? Oh, perfect. Better than we've ever been. Why are you calling? Well. To be honest with you, my dear, your mother and I are worried about you. Why? We received a text from your friends the other day detailing a concerning incident. Did you call my mom? No. No. Are no. You kidding? No. Which friends? Your roommates. Sushi and Nanu. You know, the tall one with the giant Adam's apple and the, the one with a muscular back. I'm sorry, Mommy. I have to go. Bethany, wait. We've sent over Dr. Patrick. He'll be at your house in an hour. Toodaloo, my sweet. Erica, throw me the harpoon! Over here! Who's Dr. Patrick? Where's the mistletoe? I have it. Wait, oh. No, mistletoe. Don't try to kiss him. Why? Oh, come on. No, oh, my God. No. <laughs> Bethany! Dr. P! It is so good to see you. He's such a zaddy. Stop. Look, let me just grab my stuff from my car. But once I come back, why don't we hop into our first therapy session? Um... Okay, okay, I'll meet you downstairs. <laughs> Wait. He's a live-in therapist? How do you afford that? That must be expensive as hell. My parents saved his life so he does it for free. Mm. Ooh, that's code for I'm embarrassed by how much money I have. Why is it so in right now to pretend to be poor? I think a lot of people are starting Well, both of you stop it! Jesus. Relax! Why did you think it was okay to call my moms? That's so embarrassing for me! Well, you've been Dingo Beth a lot recently. What? Sasha. Sorry. What's Dingo Beth? We call you Dingo Beth when you get really angry out of nowhere. Like, now is a really good example of you being Dingo Bath, in case you were confused. Yeah. Oh, girl. Oh, Beth. Okay, Neri, we fucked up. No, Sasha, you fucked up. This is all your fault. What? What do you mean? This was both of our ideas. I know. I'm gaslighting you to build a narrative that makes me feel less guilty. Mm. That's smart. You need to fix this. Let's get her a horse. No. Okay, let's- No! What if we got her a horse? No. What if we made her room a ball pit and put a horse in the ball pit? She would hate that. Oh, you're right. What if we get her a gift? Something expensive to show how much we love her. We don't have any money right now, Neri. We put all of our funds into the down payment on the Brooklyn apartment. Fuck. Ah! Wait, Sosh. Did you ever get us that renter's insurance? Yeah, I think so. Why? We're going to stage a robbery. Dr. P! I'm sorry, you have to go. I don't need this right now. What do you mean? I mean, I'm fine. This is all a huge misunderstanding. Your mothers must have called me for a reason. I freaked out really big one time. Once. But I have it under control now. What happened? My roommate Sasha told me I looked like Plumpy from Candyland and I hit him so hard he passed out. Which one is Plumpy? Oh my god, I see it. Okay, look. 
I know you're upset and you don't want to talk to me. But I drove all the way here. And your parents have already given me a lot of money. I thought you did this for free. Well, they just told you that because they feel guilty about how rich they are. Oh. <laughs> Look, have one session with me. No. Please. No. I really want to know what's going on. No. Beth? Fine, I'll do it. Oh, come on. Stand up for yourself. Then, no, I don't want to talk to you. No, I don't mean now. I mean in general. Fine, I'll do it. Come on. Help me set up. Okay, Sasha, I just read over the policy, and all we need to do to make a couple thousand dollars is, one, have the actual renter's insurance, which we probably have, and two, be able to prove forced entry and destruction of property. So, Sasha, what's the proof? I've got it. We are a house of high-end fitness vloggers. We all have six packs. No, not six, 16. We are doing a 24-hour live stream of our house because maybe we're trying to catch a ghost. I don't know, I haven't figured that out yet. We decide to step out for the evening to maybe slam some reps at the local parkour gym when our house gets broken into and robbed. Ask me by who. Who? 65-year-old Italian robber Alfonso Spaghetti, that's who. You're perfect for the part. I know, I was born to play it, wasn't I? Now, Neri. It's time to ask the Passover question. I don't want to. Ask it, Neary! Why is this night unlike all the other nights? Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you! Not only did Alfonso come here to rob, but he came here to fuck it up. Fuck it up! Mess it up! Mess it up! Because Alfonso's uncle, Rodolfo, played by you. Me. Yeah, baby, you. You got that star power, okay? He ran off with our boy's beautiful Italian wife, Margarita, hopefully played by a CGI Nicole Kidman. Budget permitting. Budget pending. Thus, throwing him into a fit of rage that causes irreparable damage to our apartment that can only be covered by the renter's insurance. This is good. This is really good. Like, this is a franchise. Should we, like, save this and pitch it to Quibi? No. Quibi's dead. You're right, kill your darlings, fit the form, I got it. Sasha, everything in this apartment, all the plates, all the furniture, we got for free from the street. We're not losing anything. So what you're saying is, the more we break, the more we make. <laughs> free money. A free money. Free money. For 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 fra. A free, a money. A free money. A bacacha, a Love this. Let's get into costume. Okay, I'll start. Lately, I've been feeling frustrated and confused. Beth, how have you been feeling? Bad. Uh, Speak from I. I bad. What? Look, Beth, you have to open up to me or we're never going to get anywhere. This is the whole point of your job, to get me to open up without overtly telling me to open up? Oh, you want me to wear the kid gloves with you? No, I don't. Okay then, this is how this is going to go. You're going to tell me what's going on. And I'm going to ask you a lot of vague leading questions that will prompt you to say out loud something that you've known this entire time. And I'm going to call that a major breakthrough and claim full credit. How's that sound? Fine. I just can't believe my mom's called you. No, I can't believe my friends called my mom's. I don't even have their number. Why does that make you think and or feel the way you're thinking and or feeling? Wow. That's a lot to think and or feel about. Honestly, Neri and Sasha have been freaking me out recently. The littlest things have been setting me off. Can you give an example? This is Fresh Air. I'm Terry Gross. When it comes to bed bugs, I'm probably a little more phobic than the average person. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, what happened before that? We played the floor as lava and they used me as a bridge. Ah, so they're walking all over you. I guess, literally, yes, they did. But I'm the uptight one. I feel like if I could just relax, then I wouldn't feel so strung out by them. Well, maybe we should relax and see if we still feel the same way. But that's just it. I don't know how to relax. Well, that is a dank shame. Okay, you were not this cool when I was 12. I don't know if I can do this. What do you mean you can't do this? No, I don't know if I can pull off the emotional complexity of the part. I think we've built him too deep. Like, I want to give a believable performance that also honors the complex backstory that we gave him. Like, you got this. We should have cast Kamel Nanjiani. Sasha. Kamel would have been perfect for the part. Sasha! Oh! Snap out of it. You are the best liar I know. Really? Yes. I have never met another grown man who consistently gets away with buying the 12 and under children an infant ticket at the zoo. I just tell him I'm wearing stilts. Sasha, you dated women all throughout high school. I even convinced myself I liked that. You literally talked your way out of a first degree murder charge. Okay, no, Neri, I actually didn't do that. And it doesn't matter. You are the Lion King. You are the product of grotesque privilege. You are Alfonso Spaghetti. I am Alfonso Spaghetti. And I am your wicked Uncle Rudolfo who ran away with your child bride. Oh, uh, you bastard. Now let's get in there and scam those motherfuckers for a goddamn leg. Prost, my love. Rodolfo! Alfonso! I just feel like the grand equilibrium is off, you know? Like back in the early days of quarantine, I'd wake up and for a moment be entirely at peace. But then as I, I don't know, stared at the ceiling or rubbed the sleep out of my eyes, everything would rush back into me. And it hurt equally every time, the weight of remembering it all. But back then, the world was so upended that the panic and, and emptiness felt valid. And now, we're just like pretending to live. Going through the motions of, of progress and re-entry. And, and, and even though things aren't as terrifying as the void that March and April was, the cultural unrest and, and pervasive sense of dread is still here and I don't know how to function. I literally don't know how to exist in my own skin. You and me both, sister. And Sasha and Neri just seem fine. They're always laughing and finding things to do, and I envy them so deeply. Why can't I find that? Let me tell you, those two are not fine. I met them for maybe five seconds and I could see the chaos in their eyes. I mean, they're coping in their own self-destructive way, but it's just different with you. You're right. I just wish they would let me breathe sometimes. I honestly think that's it. You need your space from them sometimes. You need a life outside of their hurricane. I mean, Beth, you like things that are quiet, slow, dull, boring even. Hey. And that's okay. They heal you ways that those two never will. Beth. You're a bad bitch. Okay? You're right. I am a bad bitch. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. P. I really needed this. So do you still want me to leave, or 
can I stick around? Yeah, I think I do. I don't need you sleeping on my couch like you did when I was little. Mm -hmm. But maybe we could FaceTime once a week? I'd like that. And maybe we could separate this from my parents a little bit? We could have a relationship outside of them. Uh, no, I still need them to pay me. Oh, right. Like, this is my job. No, I understand. I understand. Well, thanks for everything, Dr. P. Find your calm, Beth. Find your peace. Now go home and tell those two what you really need. I will. I need my home to be a safe space for me, too. You're welcome, Beth. Beth was alone at night, taken in the city air. Yeah, she's so alone, but baby, she don't care Her friends are home, they making a mess She just wants them to respect her, but they couldn't care less But she takes in the stars, takes in the cold night air She's got the leaves on her lips, she's got the stars in her stairs She's got a face full of dreams and a mouth full of dreams and a pocket full of dreams and a mind full of ideas she's bath alone alone staring at the stars now she bath alone and she know what she got now she's finding a stride now she's Beth, it's just us. What are you doing here? We wanted to tell you that we're sorry. But she ran out before we could say it. I, I needed space. And we came here to tell you that we're ready to give you that space. That's not how it works. Guys, I love you both so much. But you can't keep pushing me over the edge and then blaming me for having big reactions. I'm not like the two of you. I don't like it when you raise bearded dragons in our oven or, or light a bonfire in my bedroom. It doesn't make me happy to find a baby in our shower or today to come home and find you've literally destroyed the entire apartment. We were just trying to collect our renter's insurance. Neither of you ever got us that. We, we don't have the renter's insurance? Oh my oh god. Oh my god. No. I got us the renter's insurance. Oh. Shit. Oh, I could pee. I'm peeing. Because I'm responsible. And, and, both of you need to start respecting me more. Okay. We, we will, Beth, and I'm, we're sorry. It's okay. It, it's okay, guys. I just... Show me you love me by giving me what I need. We will. And I expect the apartment to be clean by the time I get back. Oh, yeah. We got it, okay? And I wouldn't hate it if there was a warm bath drawn for me and both of you had duct tape over your mouths. I'll see what we can do. I'll be home in about an hour. Bye, Bethy. Have a good walk, okay? Be Don't safe. Do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> I do a lot, so. But yeah, have a good walk. <laughs> we should probably tell the mail yeah, stripper in her room to go home. Don't even worry. I'm already calling him. That would not have gone over well. <laughs> Hi, is this big schlong Eric? Uh-huh. Yeah, no, you should leave. No, nope. no, we can't pay you. No, but, but you can keep the thong with her, her face on there. And yeah. the fruit cup, yeah. Oh, yeah, and the fruit cup. Okay, goodbye. We're really good friends. Listen, it, it, it says here that a study done in 2017 shows that you can predict someone's success 
by how they spend their free time. Those who choose to read, explore, and create are 14 times more likely to lead accomplished, fulfilling lives than those who waste their free moments with frivolous activities. That's, that's fascinating. Okay. Bedtime for Beth. Night, y'all. Wow. She just single-handedly destroyed my self-esteem and my Friday night. Should I get a library card? I feel like I should get a library card. How does one become an entrepreneur? I've never even been to the second page of Google. There are so many pages and I've stayed on the phone. I feel like I should invent an app or like, what? I don't know. We could climb a mountain. Write a book? We could write a book about Portugal. Strip club for dogs. Or we could have a baby. We could just play another round. Yeah. Kill you. <laughs>